Hi, everybody. This is Caroline, and this is a Digital Adventures Let's Build in Roblox. And today we're going to be doing a Let's Build of the Gate Crash level from Fall Guys. So I kind of already have a little setup here um, that's going to kind of start us off. I've got one of my gates that's going to go up and down um, and just kind of a little... Um, post and then one of these bumpers that moves back and forth and so we're going to code the gate to go up and down and we're going to duplicate it a couple times um, and possibly randomize you know the timing and then we're going to have this bumper kind of move back and forth so that's what we're going to be doing today so the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to select my gate which you can see i've named gate one over here um, and right now it's got, um, the only thing it's got inside of it are two textures just cause I wanted to make it look a little bit more like the game. So I've kind of added a texture to either side of the, our gate. All right, so we've got our gate and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the side. Whoops, and my, my little plus sign's not showing up but it looks like I was able to click anyway and I'm gonna add a script to it. So now we've got our, I'm gonna make this a little bigger. We've got our um, print hello world kind of like placeholder code that I'm gonna get rid of because we don't need it. And we're gonna start out by labeling the block that our code is inside of because we're gonna use it later. So we're gonna make a local variable and I'm gonna call it gate. So we have our local variable called gate and I want that to be the reference to the block that this script is inside of. So I'm just gonna say script dot capital P parent. So that just says the thing that is gate is gonna be the parent of the script we're inside of, which is this script right here. So it's inside gate one. Alrighty, now because this gate is gonna be moving up and down, we're also gonna to need to keep track of where it starts um, so that we can make sure that it always goes back to its starting position. So I'm gonna make another local variable and I'm going to call this one start pause, P-O-S for start position. And when you name a variable, if it's two words, you can't have a space in between them. So I like to capitalize the first letter of the second word um, just to make it a little bit easier to read. I'm going to set that equal to the position that our gate is in when it starts. So we're going to say gate dot capital P position. So now we've got our gate and we've got the position it is in when it starts. So now to get it to actually move, um, because we want it to be moving during the entirety of the game, we're um, instead of just like having a function that we call, we're just gonna put it inside of a forever loop. But um, in Lua, which is the language that Roblox is written in, they don't actually have a forever loop. So we have to kind of um, use what they do have, which is we're going to make a while loop, which normally with a while loop, you'd have like while, and then you'd have something that could be true or false. So like if we had a variable named X, you know, while X is greater than or equal to zero, you know, that could be either true or false. But because we want this to be a forever loop, we're just going to say true because true can never be false. So it will always run. So while true do. And then I hit return right there to get my end statement because the game's got to know when, you know, when to finish and go back to the start. So at the beginning of this loop, we want to make sure that the gate is in its starting position. So we're kind of going to do the line two, but the opposite. So we're going to say gate dot position equals start pause, which is our variable that we made. So now we're going to actually set the position of the gate to that starting position that we stored earlier. Alrighty, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to create a for loop that makes our block go down. Um, because, well, normally it'd be easier to start our block going up, but because the gate starts up, we're gonna start it going down. So we're gonna make a loop that, for this one, we're gonna have it repeat 12 times. So that's, we're gonna use what's called a for loop. So we do for, F-O-R, X is the variable that I like to use. So X equals zero, cause we're gonna start it off at zero comma 12 do. 
And that's another, you know, loop that has to happen. So the game needs to know when to finish it and go back to the start. So that's what that end is for. So basically what this means, it's a little complicated um, and it doesn't quite spell it out for you, but it means for this variable X, which I'm gonna start off at zero, um, you're gonna repeat whatever's in here until X equals 12. Every time the code runs and it gets to the end and goes back to the beginning, it's gonna add one to X. And then once X equals 12, it will be done with this loop. So we're gonna have this loop run 12 times and that's going to you know, take our gate and move it down one stud because a stud is, a, is the you know, unit of measurement in Roblox. So we're gonna have it take um, the gate down one stud at a time and we're gonna have it do that 12 times. And we're gonna have to set the gate's position. So we're gonna do gate.position equals, and then we're gonna change it based on its previous position. So we're gonna say the gate's new position is gonna be equal to the gate's old position, which is gate top position again. The position of our block, because Roblox is three dimensional, um, is a number that's got you know, three digits to it. It's got the X, the Y, and the Z. So we have to add an X, or we have to add a variable to it that also has an X, a Y, and a Z. And so variables of that type in Roblox are called vector threes. So basically it just means a variable that has an X, a Y, and a Z. Um, Cause if we just tried to like add one to this it wouldn't know which of the positions to add it to the X position, the Y position or the Z position. So we're gonna do vector three and then dot new cause we have a new one. And we don't wanna change the X position. So we're gonna leave X at zero. We do wanna change the Y position and we will actually want it to go down. So we're gonna do a negative one. And then we're gonna do zero for the Z position because we don't want it to move side to side, back and forth. We just want it to move up and down. So that's why we just have the Y. Now we could do just that, but to make it look a little bit smoother, we're gonna add a weight after that inside of this for loop. And we're gonna just do wait 0.1 seconds. Now I would test it out right now, just going down, but it would just go down forever. Um, and it's pretty easy to do the code for it to go back up. Um, so I'm gonna put a small weight here. I'm gonna do 0 0.5 seconds. And then to have it go back up, all I have to do is copy this for loop, copy, paste. But instead of having it be a minus one, I'm gonna have it be a plus one because this is gonna get it to go back up. So I'm gonna put some comments here to, um, in our code just to kind of tell us what's going on. So to comment something out in Lua, you just do a dash dash and then the, the game knows to skip whatever comes after that. So this is gonna be um, move up one stud 12 times. Oh, I'm sorry, this, is, this should be down. Move down one stud 12 times and this one's gonna be move up one stud. I should probably be consistent about that. All right. So move up one stud 12 times, move down 12 times, and we're gonna wait 0 0.1 seconds between each movement. And let's take a look and run our game and see what that looks like. Now I don't actually need to play it for this, so I'm just gonna use the run function. So now we've got it going up and down. All right, awesome. Now we may want it to move a little slower, or to stay down for a little bit longer, um, which we can change in our code. But for right now, that code is working. So I'm gonna hit this stop. And I'm gonna say, I want it to stay down for a little bit longer. I'm gonna have it stay down for a whole second. So I'm gonna change that. And then it's always important to save whenever you've got code that's working. Now, before I duplicate this, I know that I'm gonna want these gates to be moving kind of at different, um, times. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing this while true do, um, I'm going to put make this a while wait and I'm going to have it wait. Um, and so this is the same as having a while true do. It's like having a true there, but it makes it so that it waits a certain number of seconds between each time it runs everything in here. Now 
I don't want this number to be the same for every single one. So I'm going to make this a random number, which in Roblox, the way to do that is you do math dot random. And then in parentheses, you do the low, you know, the minimum number and then comma the maximum number. So I'm going to start this with like, I'll do 0.5 seconds is the minimum number, maybe like three seconds is the maximum number. Now we'll test that out and we'll see how it looks. And then I'm also going to have a wait a random amount of time between coming back up. Um, now I definitely thought 0.5 seconds was too fast. So let's leave this uh, at, I'll do 0 0.75. And then the longest I want it to be down, let's say two seconds. So let's see how this looks. And again, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna be able to see the randomness of it this time because there's only one of them. But once I duplicate it, you'll see that they'll both be different. All right, that waits, okay. And it, it's gonna be different every time too. Ooh, I may wanna do something. All righty. So now that we've got this and it's all randomized, I'm gonna hit this stop and I'm going to duplicate this. So I've made my game so that I can fit four gates across here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my gate and then I'm gonna select this post. I'm going to hit duplicate and then use my move tool to move it. So it's just, let's, yeah. So it's just over enough. All righty. And then I'm going to do that again. And hmm, did I make it bigger than I thought? Maybe I did. Huh. All righty. So. Oh, you know what it is? Is there's room for a final post over here. So I'm gonna duplicate this post and move that all the way over. Whoops, all righty. And there is my level. So now I'm actually gonna test this out. All right, so here we are. Here's my gate crash. Now you can see they're all kind of going up and down randomly. Some of them are staying up for longer. All right. So just like in Fall Guys, I'd run through here and there would be more afterwards. All righty, so we've got our gates working. Uh, all righty, and now let's work on our bumper. So the code for the bumper is gonna be fairly similar, except we're gonna have it move side to side rather than up and down. So let's hit this stop here. We're gonna to go to my bumper. All right, looks like my bumper right now I have as a model, which I'm just gonna have this blue part move for now. Um, I think I have underneath it like a little post yeah, it's like a little post, but it's a little bit more complicated to get um, a model to move as one. Um, so today we're just gonna do this, you know, blue bit. Um, so I'll call, I'm gonna rename that. I'm gonna just call that main. That's our main part. That's the part we're gonna add our script to. All righty. So we're gonna get rid of this now. For the sake of time, I am gonna go into my uh, code that I did for my, um, my gate and I'm gonna copy it and paste it. Now I'm gonna change some stuff over here. I'm gonna change this to be bumper, which I'm gonna have to change it a bunch of places, but I think it's better to be clear so that I don't accidentally like change the code in here when I'm meaning to be changing the code in my gate, because I think this is gate if I leave the name is gate. Alrighty, so now I've got all that um, and we've got it starting positions. Now um, we're gonna change this so that it's actually moving side to side. So I'm gonna come look over here. And if you look at my little like 
thing over here that says like which direction is which, you'll see that side to side for me right now is X and that's the direction that I want this to be moving back and forth. Um, so we're going to change, rename, this is gonna be bumper script. Alrighty, so I wanna be changing the X position now, if I move this right now, the position of my bumper is X. The X is negative 54 point something. And then if I move it over, the X goes technically up because it's getting smaller, but in the negative, so it's going up. Um, so we are gonna start ours by with addition. All right, now for this, because we don't want to be moving up and down, I'm gonna change that to zero. And I'm gonna change this. Now these move a little bit faster in um, Fall Guys. So I'm gonna make this a 1.25. And then um, 12 studs is about the height of this. So that's not far enough to get it like into the middle, kind of like some of the ones in Roblox or even all the way across. I'm gonna start just taking it into the middle. Um, so I'm going to have this, instead of moving 12 times, I'm going to have this move 30 times. And so we're going to have, this is going to be moving left, uh, 1.25 studs 30 times. And then we've got our, you know, we'll, we'll change our weights um, and then change that to zero. And this is going to be negative 1.25, 30. All right, and so this is gonna be moved right. 1.25 studs, 30 times. I'm gonna currently leave these weights as they are and we'll see how they look. Um, and let's go ahead and test this out. Okay, so there goes my bumper. It's moving a little slow though. So I think I might try and make it even faster. Let's see, is it getting all the way to the middle? Almost. So we might make it move a couple more. So let's see what 1.5 looks like. And I'm gonna change this to 32. So I'll change my comments accordingly. So I wanna keep up to date. All right, let's hit play and see how that all right, that's a little better. Um, and it made it to the middle that time. Um, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, there you go, Alrighty. The way I have my bumpers right now is I have one that kind of goes into the middle. Now I might make it move maybe one less because if I'm gonna have another one on the other side, then I don't want them hitting each other in the middle. Um, now I'm gonna rename this. This is gonna be bumper and this one's on the right side. And then I'm gonna duplicate it. And this one is going to be bumper left. And let's move that all the way over to this side. Now I gotta change the code in here because this is gonna have to move the other direction. So we will start this one going negative. Oops, that's a, a one, a negative and that positive. And now we should have that one meeting in the middle. Oops, there we go, that's what I want it. All right, now I'm just gonna run this and see how that looks. Okay, awesome. So now I've got my first section kind of finished and I'm going to add, I'm just gonna duplicate all this and select all these pieces. If you don't know how to select multiple pieces at a time, you hold down shift on your keyboard and then click on them. All right. And then I'm gonna hit duplicate and to make it so that I don't accidentally move it side to side, I'm just gonna use this move tool and take it back. Does it look like I got everything? I think I did. Alrighty, so let's see how this looks if I play it. All right. 
So, ah, here we go. Ooh, all right. So there is our Gate Crash game. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you'd like to learn more about coding in Roblox or coding in general, you can check out digitaladventures.com. You can also play this game at the link below.